Hi, Crystal here from Space to Love, and today we're gonna to organize a pantry. And you can see this pantry right here needs a lot of loving. So we're gonna organize this pantry using the Space to Love five-step method. I'm gonna walk you through those five steps, and I'm gonna show you how to use it to organize a pantry, but you can use it to organize any area of your home. Okay, so we're gonna organize this pantry, and we're gonna be using the Space to Love five-step method, which is very simple and teachable, and it is set up, sort, select, sanitize, and style. So we're gonna start with the setup. And basically the setup is really easy for a pantry. The most important thing is that I cleared off this counter space um, because we're gonna take everything out and we need to have room to work. But I also have a marker and some post-it notes. So if we need to make any um, notes for anything of our categories that we're gonna make soon. But I also have a garbage bag, recycle, I have a scissor on hand and a box cutter, just so it makes it easy as we're going through, we don't have to run around the house and get anything. Like we're set up and we're ready to go. Okay, so now we're in step two, which is basically sorting. So we're taking everything out and we're sorting into like categories. Um, we have our canned goods, we have sides and pastas, we have snacks, and uh, we also have baking. Um, but before I put it into its category, I definitely wanna check the expiration date, like this taco seasoning expired so we're gonna throw that out and um, we're gonna do that with the entire pantry okay so we just basically sorted everything into categories and I do have my client here she's off camera um, but we're at the select stage so this is the third step and basically we want to select the items um, that are questionable also during this time, which I'm just gonna to talk to my client here, also during this time, you get to see how you live, right? So we have um, these lentils here, they're just about to expire, right? So you make decisions, do you wanna keep these? Do you think you're gonna eat these in the next week or two? Because we really wanna keep stuff in the pantry that's fresh, that we're eating. Um, sometimes you buy things for the kids, they, they like the snack, now two weeks later they don't like the snack. Um, and then we end up buying the same things, but nobody's eating them. And this is where we really get to see how we're living. Um, also, you have like two things of like apple cider vinegar, they're both expired. Um, so maybe someone goes to the store and they keep buying them thinking someone in the house is using them, but they're not. So this is where we get to see like what's actually happening, right? And then we have like all of these things here. So do you want to keep all this plasticware? I want to keep some of it because I do have events. So okay. the hat. Great. So we can go through these and maybe like you have too many knives, we can get rid of like maybe let's recycle some of the knives and let's keep like just like kind of pare this down a little bit so it's a little more manageable. And then now we have these little things, right? These are really cute, um, but they don't have expiration dates on them. So we don't know how old they are. Um, but would you eat the fig spread? Well, you just said there's no expiration, yeah, so I don't know when you got them. Let them go. Right, so see, the, when, and everything seems really good. They're like, oh, I'm totally going to use this. And then three years later, you're like, what? Where did I get these? Okay, so we're going to let those go. Um, then we also have like a mismatch of like, a, you know, some teas, some sugars. And again, you know, we don't know when you got them and that kind of thing. So maybe we can go through this and see if you want to keep them or do you want to just let this go? Like, do you know how old this bag is? And um, so, yeah, trash. Okay, that's great. See, I love when people just like, just let it go because you're never gonna use those little packets. We actually have more, like I know you're using the, the monk fruit sweetener now. These are um, dates, so we have, so you know you're not gonna go without. So that's great. And then we have these random, like no one's gonna eat. Okay, so we can let this go, right? So this is what we're talking about when we're, t we're really selecting the items that we have in our space. So when we put everything back, we have it all in its categories. Everything is, you know, nothing's expired. Everything's fresh. And um, you know exactly what you have. It's great. Yeah, and then when you're going shopping, it's like, okay, I, you know, you don't have to pick up the red wine vinegar. Actually, we were loving lentils and we're not eating them anymore. So let's go with something different. Um, yeah. Okay, so we just finished the selection process, which is great. So we edited out everything that was expired, that they're not using or eating anymore. And now we are going to sanitize, which I think sanitizing is really important, especially for places like the pantry and the closet. Um, these items, you know, you never take them all out at once. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to really get in here and clean it out. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna clean out all of these shelves. 
uh, make them sparkle. And uh, I also like the, sanitiz the sanitizing process too because I feel like with feng shui, it's like any dirt or dust is shot energy and we just want that out of our home, out of the kitchen, away from our food uh, to just bring in good, happy energy into the home. Okay, so we just finished sanitizing, which is step four, and oh my God, this looks amazing. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get ready to do step five, which is style. Uh, so I'm gonna take some measurements really quick, and then we're gonna go to the container store and we're gonna get some bins uh, so we can help um, have it organized, and then they know where everything goes so they can stay organized. So we're here at the container store, so we're looking at different bins that would work well for the pantry that we're organizing. And since it's white metal, I thought that these white metal meshed uh, baskets would be perfect. So I know she has vitamins, so this smaller one's gonna work out great. And then we're actually gonna get a few of these to separate things out like the pasta and the snacks and things like that. And then we're gonna go look for some cute little labels to put on the front of them. Okay, so we just got back from the container store. And uh, so as you saw, I, like, I picked out these, which I really like, the metal mesh uh, and white, so they're gonna look really nice in here. And then I also mentioned the labels, which I really like these um, bin clip labels, so they look like this on the outside and so either I'll put like snacks or pasta um, but this smaller one is actually going to be for her vitamins and then these larger ones will be for the pasta and snacks and um, all right so I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back like with like and then put it in the pantry and then label all right, so we just finished step five and I love the way this pantry came out. Uh, these bins from the container store worked out perfect. I love the labels, we labeled everything. So now they'll know where things go, where to put things back so they can stay organized. Uh, so now you have it. You know what the Space to Love five-step method is. You, you set yourself up, you sort, you select, you sanitize and style. You can use that method for any area in your home. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more organizing videos, please subscribe to my channel, Space to Love. And if you want to know more about us at Space to Love, check us out at spacetolove.com. Also, if you uh, want to comment or like, we'd uh, love to hear from you. And again, thanks so much for watching.